two months. We've been trying to decode this map for almost two months now, and we've absolutely nothing to show for it. At least we figured out how to override the Omega lockout. We just can't figure out how Liendo's data fits on the star charts. Maybe we passed a module a few planets ago? We'd have known it. We're missing something. Oh, keep at it, Josh. Alex, keep our current heading. Maybe we'll get lucky. Aye, sir. Is everything all right? It's a year to the day since the wormhole was destroyed. We all miss home. Maybe you should talk to the crew. I talk to the crew all the time, Alex. Like a captain does. Like Admiral Cole or Captain Shelby used to. It meant something. You think we need to remind everyone that we're not even close to finding a way out of all this? It's up to you. Thanks, Alex. And I'll think about it. Having fun, Sub-Commander? Checking up on me again, Lieutenant? It's hard not to when you give off stress like an audited Ferengi. What's the problem? So now you care about my well-being. All right, Talora, have it your way. Morgue, you said that I was not the only Romulan in this galaxy. He could have been making it up to make you crack. He knew too much about the Romulan Empire to be making it up. Maybe they hacked a warbird. You can't know for sure they brought prisoners back with them. No, but it is possible there are members of the Romulan Star Empire in Arkin custody. If that is true, we must retrieve or neutralize them. All right, then. So, what are you trying to do? I'm reviewing the data that Romulan fleet gathered during the time the Arkin wormhole was active. Anything useful? Nothing. Perhaps our guest could offer some insights of his own. Ugh, it's that damn high energy signal again, and it's starting to piss me off. I'll help you with your mystery if you help me with mine. I am here, Marjan. Vito, I barely see you. You are not well. No. <coughs> no. I'm almost gone. Do not say such things. You will be restored. This is only a temporary malady. My life is nearing its end. Soon I will journey to Tartara. Marjan, you are needed here with your people. My people. The people I failed. You have done no such thing. Speak truthfully. Am I seen as a fool? Never have you been seen as a fool. Blind, then. I thought as much. But not as blind as you may think. My Mahjan. I have failed to do what is right by the great ones. My people. My own family. But it is too late to change. I journey to Dardara at the next rotation's end. There, my shame will end. Mahjan. If you make the journey, realize you can never return to Arkina. One way or another, my shame will end. If that is your will, I will be by your side. This is our next stop. This is it. Nothing promising on sensors. Not yet, anyway. Full sensor sweep of the planet and the and moons the moon. and surrounding space. I'm already on it. Nothing yet. This is becoming a wild barrel bug chase. Sir, I'm getting something. 
Omega? Yes, sir. Bearing 212 Mark 9, third planet. I'm setting a course. Bridge to Gillen. We may have just gotten lucky. Uh, we're feeding you the information now. Can you take a retrieval team? Aye, sir. Can you hear me, Arkin? We need to ask you some questions. I have little patience. I hear you. What do you know about your empire's activities in my galaxy? <laughs> little. I was a servant. Have you seen my kind before? <laughs> I am Romulan. Pointy ears, pallid skin. I've seen images. Did your masters bring my kind to your home? I don't know. And even if I did, why would I tell you? You need us to survive. Survive? Survive? I have nothing left to survive for. I have no home, no Mahjong to look after me. My life was a lie. And you expect me to answer questions I couldn't possibly know the answers to. Press now, Arkin. I won't allow another display like that in here. The module is emitting a low-level omega field, like a footprint. I can't tell it's range, but... We're trying to dampen it to avoid detection by the Arkans. Good. Is it going to be useful to us? We can't figure that out until we activate it. <clears throat> can the module be salvaged, Ensign? I can see what I can do, but, sir, even if we can salvage it, what do we do with it? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I can keep our current warp cord ticking over, but... I think building a new slipstream core is a little beyond me. Josh, let's just take it one step at a time. See what resources we have to work with. Row to bridge. Set a course out of the system. Let's keep on our search. Aye, sir. Leaving the system. Is it possible the signals are sensor ghosts? No. We've gone over the sensors inch by inch now. What if the computer extrapolated the gaps in your Romulan data? It would still be hypothetical. You know, this is the first time we've really worked on anything together. I wouldn't get used to it, Lieutenant. Any luck on your mysteries? No. Although I remain confident. <laughs> Says a lot for teamwork. We're almost at our search location, dropping out of warp and beginning our search pattern. Begin sensor sweeps. And keep your fingers crossed. Yes, sir. Okay. Computer, let's see the logs for the Omega flare up a few hours ago. Wait. Computer, where is data for time index 34541? That information is not available. Why is there no data for time index file 34541? Alpha 47 authorization required to activate security channel. Long range scans? Our heading will take us to a giant SFZ. One of the biggest we've ever seen. How long till we reach it? About three hours. Actually, we'll have to drop out of warp before then. The field won't hold past 80 million kilometers, so it'll be about a half an hour from there, on impulse. You guys mind postponing the night shift? Computer, skip to next file. Personal journal. I am to be transferred to a warbird. My superiors feel I cannot be trusted with Tal Shiar business any longer. They would not listen to my recollection of events, so I put them in here, in the hopes that my superiors will listen to these logs. And perhaps one day, 
will help me take revenge on the Federation man who ruined me. Why can I not see you? Your ocular implant is magnificent, but easily manipulated. A dampening field prevents you from focusing on me. Do you have a name? Kavelur. You sent a signal to me. Why would you want to offer information? We know that you've been developing Thaleron weapons again. Thaleron is banned from Romulus. And it is none of Section 31's concern. It is when the new Obsidian Order plans to steal your prototypes. And do you expect me to take your word? Here is the information that we've obtained. Review it yourself. Why are you telling me this? A reformed order with Thaleron weapons is undesirable. And it is prudent for domestic authorities to handle this situation. They will send an agent to take your research. You should be able to capture him easily. We feel a change of pace is appropriate for you at this point. You're demoting me? You trusted the information of a Federation agent which led to the destruction of valuable facilities. Giving you a new assignment protects us all from any future errors. Go into Talora. Playback off. Talora here. Uh, you asked for me to wait for you in engineering and well, I'm here. But if you're not coming, then I should really get back to my work. I'm on my way, Ensign. Talora out. We're in visual range of the SFC. On screen. Initiating sensor sweep. This is taking a really long time. I'm trying to be thorough. Standard SFZ, just very large, with a singularity concentration of... Engineering, do you see that? The scan data is being routed through a completely separate subsystem before it gets to the bridge. I see it, Ensign. Trace where it's going. There. The sensor data is being copied. Sub 4 sigma 5143 pi. At 59. Oh, no, 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 not again. I'm getting a Starfleet Command classified message. Command? Out here? Scan for data activity in the slipstream core room. There's nothing there. Sir, I'm reading a strange buildup of energy. energy. It's an Omega spike. Everybody out. Containment field. Is everything all right down there? We're fine. Captain, the signal transmitted again. At the exact moment that the Omega surge occurred. Would someone explain what just happened? Bridge, stand by. The signal went out as soon as there was computer activity in the Substream core area. Josh, are you sure that room is empty? I'll go check. Subcommander, there is an active piece of equipment here. A tiny transceiver, but it's been modified. The device contains a tiny remnant of a tetrahedron. Bridge, we think we found the source. A transceiver connected to a tetrahedron. All the tetrahedron left with the core? That's not possible. Gillen, how come you didn't see this before? We weren't looking for it. The slipstream core room was closed off ever since we lost it, and no activity was ever detected. Ensign Gillen, bring me the device. The Omega module we picked up has a footprint, correct? What about it? So did the slipstream core which means this transceiver has one as well, and the tetrahedron... What is your point? Someone is sending messages back to our home galaxy. The signal itself is here. It's... I've seen it before. Ensign, trace the control relay, quickly. Sickbay. It's going all the way to sickbay. Sickbay? Engineering Dostati, we have been deceived. Secure Deck 8 and sickbay. Find the control relay somewhere in the office. I will be there shortly.
Lieutenant Stardy, something I can help you with. Uh, sorry, Doc, won't be a minute. Well, all right, but you know... Uh... Here it is. <laughs> Give it to me. So sensitious, perhaps I should get out of your way. Remind me, Doctor, how you knew about my ocular implant. I told you I was stationed on Starbase 395. What's going on, Subcommander? Ask the Doctor. Lieutenant, I don't know what she's talking about. He's Section 31. Section what? Subcommander, I don't see Computer, how... execute to Laura 1. Red alert! Sig Beta Bridge! Talora and Vaughn have transported away! Captain, the shuttle bay doors are opening. The Royston is leaving with Talora and Vaughn. Pursuit course. Impulse engine is not responding. Study to bridge. Talora's locked down the transporters, tractor beams, and weapons. I'm on my way. Where are we going? Not far. So, are we going to just sit here? Who have you been sending messages to? What is Section 31's purpose on Odyssey? A Federation ship going to Andromeda. What would we want with it? Who have you been transmitting to? I don't see how... Answer my question. Maybe when you tell me why you've gone to all this trouble to get me here. Why did you do it? Do what? It was you, three years ago. That's how you knew about my ocular implant. You've hidden yourself from it before. Yes, that was me. But I don't know what I meant to have done. You lied. You told me that a Cardassian agent was going to steal our Thaleron research. He came. But he destroyed everything. All our work, immeasurable resources, gone because I trusted you. It wasn't a lie. Our information was wrong. Sorry. You cost me everything I had. And now here we are. I should kill you. You know I'm much more valuable to Odyssey alive than dead. Concern yourself more with your value to me than with Odyssey. Now talk. Proximity alert, sir. Arkin vessel right on top of us. Shields up. Why didn't the sensors pick it up? I don't know, sir. Uh, interference from the SFZ? What about the shields? Shields are up. Weapons? No can do. Engineering, get around whatever Talora did. Make weapons and thrusters top priority. Odyssey, charging weapons. Locking target. Hold RL. Scan the ship. Is that the source of the Omega module? Yes, sir. How did they get one? Does it matter, General? I want to know what they're doing. Open a channel to the Odyssey. Captain, they're hailing us. Open a channel. Odyssey, you have an Omega module aboard. We detected its signal. You will turn it over to us. And why would I do that? If you do, your deaths will be quick, painless. Before you shoot, we have the boy. What boy? The child of Majan Serum. He's being held in our sick bay. Recovering. Proof? My second officer is transmitting images of him in our sick bay. He's blind, but he's being taken care of. For now. You will turn him over to us. Immediately. Why should I bring you back to the ship? It would look bad if you go back with a corpse. A reason I care for. Oh, come on, Talora. If we didn't have history, you wouldn't care who I worked for. When I first came aboard, you said you could not fix my implant. Was that a lie? I didn't want to give myself away. We will return to the ship. And you will tell them everything. And if I refuse? I will execute you. Odyssey would have no doctor. They have a medical hologram. Hmm. 
Very well, then. They will hate me, you know. You stand against every ideal they have. But... It's people like us that lets them have their ideals. If we hand him over, you'll open fire. And if you don't turn him over immediately, I'll open fire anyway and retrieve him myself. Putting him in danger of being caught in the crossfire. It would appear that we have a temporary impasse. I cannot let you go, even at the cost of losing Cacus. Talora, you'd better get back here. Give me ten minutes to think about it. You have five. Any luck? If she's hearing me, she's ignoring me. <laughs> Stubborn cow. Gillen to bridge. You have weapons and thrusters. Warp drive in six minutes. Thank you, Ensign. Stadi, bring weapons online, but don't target them yet. What is it? Odyssey as company. <sighs> Finally. She's telling us to go to Impulse as soon as we can, then warp with a new heading. Got it, sir. 141 Mark 9. Sir, do you think we can trust her? No idea. We don't have any better options. Put Morgu back on the screen. Commander, we agree. We will turn Kekus over to you, and in return, you will let us go. Transport him immediately. It'll take a few minutes to prepare him for transport. He was badly injured. You have two minutes. If he's not aboard my ship by then, I'll open fire. So, is today a good day to die? Pray that it isn't. Warp drive is back online. Helm lay in a course, prepare to engage. Stadi, drop shields and power down weapons. Open a channel. No shields? Lieutenant. Cacus is ready to transport? Yes. They've lowered their shields, are they mad? A sign of goodwill, perhaps. Maybe the Arkan will do the same. You will have to lower your shields for transport, General. Very well. Commence transport as soon as they're down. And then you will let us leave. Perhaps. Energize. The engines are out. We can't follow them. We trusted them. General? Permission to be relieved. Granted. Vaughn is the source of the transmissions. He has been sending information back to Section 31, a secret organization within Starfleet using an Omega-powered transmitter. The Omega module and the transmitter were causing interference with each other. That's what was causing the surges and overloads. How is that possible? Who are you? Are you even a doctor? I am a doctor. She did say something about Section 31 earlier, though I've never heard of it. Federation Charter, Article 14, Section 31. A Federation Tal Shiar. But of course the Federation is above such tactics. I've heard rumors about such things, but I never thought they would be true. So, Dr. Vaughn, you're a member of the secret group and you've been sending messages home all this time? It's not as simple as that. Not as simple as what? Not as simple as your lies? As your deceit and betrayal? We trusted you with our lives. Not all of us survived. What about Shinar? Commander Connor? Could you have saved those people? Commander, I never did or would do anything to harm the ship or the crew. I certainly hope not. You will provide me with these Section 31 files and technology, and after reviewing that information, I'll decide what to do. Commander, I cannot provide that information. It's classified. You will give it to us. In the meantime, you will be confined to the brig indefinitely until I've made a decision on your future. Subcommander Talora, good work on exposing Dr. Vaughn's covert status. You can fully debrief me. In the brig, three weeks confinement. What is the meaning of this? You left this ship defenseless, and its crew at the mercy of the Ark and all for a personal mission of revenge. I will not allow that. I know you don't like the idea of me in command, but get used to it. 
It's been a long year, and it's only gonna get longer. If you had just trusted me, instead of going off on your own, then... <clears throat> Hopefully, in a few weeks, we can work together again. I will prepare my report for debriefing, Captain. I've been taking a look at the transmission device. I think I figured it out. What do you mean, figured it out? We can use it for ourselves. To send messages. Home. Good work, Ensign. Put it together. I think it's time we appoint a new science officer. Laws is qualified, right? Sounds like you're ready to move on up, finally. You did good today, Nevin. Feels like the ship's falling apart. <laughs> we aren't there yet. So what are you gonna do about Vaughn and Talora? I don't know. The Federation Tal Shiar? Sounds so... Romulan? <laughs> yeah. Maybe the Federation isn't as superior as we like to think. I suppose this is meant to get us talking to each other. Getting along. I don't recommend it. You have to admit, we have a lot in common. I'm not responsible for the death of thousands of humans. We have a lot of time together, Dolores. I suggest we make the most of it. If it means my death by small talk, I prefer a phaser. Ah, we never got to play that game of chess. And secret agents are very good at chess. Perhaps. I have wondered. Your code name. Revelor. What does it mean? It's a Welsh word. It means warrior. You're very attached to that ancient language. And the culture. It's almost all gone, but it means so much. I imagine the Welsh warriors of old Fiercely loyal to their country, fighting the Nordics, the Saxons, the Danes. Eh. That's what I like to think of myself. Fiercely loyal to the Federation. Section 31 has always been fanatical. All for the preservation of the Federation. Loyalty to my country, and loyalty to my empire. That is one thing we have in common. Attached are some very short messages from the crew to their families. Also, a list of the dead, including Captain Telek and Commander Stephen Connor. We're still circling Ark in space and investigating Singularity Formation Zones. We're on the trail of Omega Modules in case we can rebuild our slipstream drive. The only one we've found so far, however, has been useless. I sometimes wonder what Shelby and Cole would say about the choices I've made. I hope I do well by this ship. In some ways, the crew has held it together better than I have. I don't even know if these messages are going to be received. But I have to believe they will. I love you, Corey. Don't give up on me.